Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm just gonna show you where to set the site icon that shows in your browser. Um, often this is called a favicon, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I could not even find anyone who agreed on how to pronounce that on the internet. But anyway, the site icon, we'll just call it. Um, normally you would have set that in the Divi theme in the customizer. And the reason I'm even doing this tutorial is because the customizer is kind of going away, right? WordPress is not using the customizer anymore for the block editor and switching over to the site editor. And then they needed to provide a place for this. And so they've actually added a new location for it. And it may be something you didn't even realize. Um, so I'm just going to show you, it's going to be quick, but good information to know. And you can actually see what I'm talking about in this tutorial. It's up here in the corner. I'm just using my logo. Probably for most sites that would have like any kind of round or square or, or even like some kind of icon in their logo, that is probably what you would use. Um, just take notice of it when you're browsing other websites to kind of see what site icon they're using. And that gives you a good idea of, of what you could do. And it needs to be um, 512 pixels wide and tall. So that's kind of the, the minimum for that. But anyway, so you can see it there. And I actually, when I made this website, I would have done it this way. I would have went to Theme Customizer, or you could access this from the back end. So at this point, it's still here, but I am I feel like they're probably going to move it or even just completely get rid of the customizer at some point soon. So anyway. General settings, I believe it's under there. Site identity, yep, right here. And this is where I have like the site title and tagline and then the site icon. Um, but if you actually take note of these three things, I'll show you where else you can find these, especially if you're working on a theme that doesn't even have the customizer anymore or if you're watching this in the future. Okay, here you can see a nice little preview. There I can change the icon, remove it. Let's go to the back end. All right, so go down here under settings and general. So even if you just click the settings button. So here you can see we already have this site title right here and this tagline is here and there's the site icon. So it's already, they've already included all the features we need in the back end. So we, again, we're kind of moving away from the customizer. We're in that era right now. And so if um, this wasn't here, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll just go to a fresh site here. Um, and here you can see it's kind of like um, a icon picker or a image picker actually. So you just click that and then you can load an image. Um, here they recommend the 512 by 512. And they remind you that this is going to be in your browser in your bookmark tab. So if I was to bookmark this website or in the mobile app, if you're using the WordPress apps or our WooCommerce app. Um, or I think also they don't mention this, but you know how in your browser you can save a website to your um, homepage, at least on Android you can. That icon that shows will be this site icon. So yeah, that's it. You set it there, you can remove it and change it. I highly recommend having one. Just look at the difference here, you know, between mine and then this um, default one, the WordPress one. I've seen this on live sites where people forget to put it and it just, it just looks unprofessional, like incomplete, like someone didn't think of that. Like um, it usually shows that it wasn't really done by a professional. Um, but yeah, just remember to add that. And now you know in the future, if you're watching this video, there's where you do it um, if the customizer disappears. So just to explain what I'm talking about, there are some things that have already been removed from the customizer. For example, if you are using the theme builder in Divi, well, if you have a header and a footer in the theme builder, you don't have those like header options showing in the customizer. You don't need them. I think there's also a module customizer in the past. And I think there's been other things too that have just become unnecessary there. And that's going to continue. That's my personal prediction. It's going to continue to a point where the customizer doesn't exist anymore because you don't need it anymore. <laughs> we have visual builders now. That was like before even visual page builders. You could go in there and like sort of like the you could see like the preview while you're in that anyway it's going to go away at some point and it's going to become less and less needed 
you'll see more settings being put in like the Divi settings, and the theme options are in the visual builder. And so I'm just putting this out there now so that you're aware of it. You can already just set it in the general WordPress settings. All right, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful. And we'll see you all in our next video.